okay, so I promised that I would do an updated video on the eight steps of washing that I have for hand washing my diapers. Step number one, get my all the dirty diapers in the bucket. There it is, right there. We're going to do one cold wash with one tablespoon of detergent. And so I'm gonna fill that up, plunge it 50 to 100 times, let it sit for five to 10 minutes, and then pour it out. So that step number one is done. Now we're to step number two, which is a hot wash, one to two tablespoons of detergent and hot water in the bucket. Here we go, and fill it up, plunge it 50 to 100 times, let it sit for 10 minutes, plunge it 50 to 100 times, and rinse. I like to just agitate it with the plunger as it's filling up and kind of do the first, I don't know, 20 to 40 um, plunges while it's filling up and really mix up the diapers and really get them um, thoroughly mixed in. I'll show you how I do that. So I just kind of go like this and just really get it, really get it mixed up as much as I can. Because I feel like once the lid is on, it doesn't get as much movement in there. My lid on. And do my plunges. Okay, we're still on step number two. This, I'm just showing you the plunges. Some of the plunging. I am on step two still. I'm just going to dump out the hot water. And then we'll be on to step three, which will be another hot wash and it still smells like pee a lot. I don't have my scoop, so I'm just having to eyeball it, but about a tablespoon. Okay, hot water. Making sure that I'm getting them really good. And again, we're on step three. Another hot, hot wash. The first three have been with detergent. Now I'm going to plunge it 50 to 100 times. I usually do 100. So just stir it. One, two, three, four, five, six. 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Okay, and as you can see, it's gonna be really frothy. Pour it out. You can see it's real, really sudsy. And now start on number four. Uh, this will be this will be hot rinse number four. Look at number four, hot rinse. Okay, and then this one, I just sort of let the bubbles and the hot water kind of cascade over the side once it gets full. And I start just kind of letting some of the bubbles rinse out of it. Okay, I'm gonna do 50 plunges and then rinse it out. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Okay, as you can see, it's really sudsy again. The water's starting to get more clear. I didn't really show in the beginning, but it was really pea color. Now this is hot rinse number five. Okay, and we're almost full. 
and I have been doing this for a week now for one toddler and it's a lot of work but it hasn't been too bad this lid on and okay and plunge 50 times 46 47 48 49 50 okay take off the lid pour it out and then this will be hot rinse number six Probably let it sit for a few minutes and give my back a break for a minute. So I'll fill this up, let it sit for like 10 minutes and plunge 50 times. Okay, so I let this sit for 10 minutes and um, I'm going to just give it a quick little rinse and I'm going to dump it out. Okay, so this was step number six, hot rinse. Oh. And then we're going to be on cold rinse, which is step number seven. And again, I just start swishing it around while it's still in there. Old faithful of diapers. They're really clean at this point, though, so it's not too bad. I start letting some of the suds go. Okay. I'm gonna plunge it 50 times. Step four or five, I give them a smell test. I forgot to do that tonight. So, I should probably do that now. Give it a good, a good smell. <laughs> Smells clean. Yep. So, okay, so now finishing up, I'll show you what I do. I'll have the water on so I won't really be able to talk too much, but you'll be able to see. So this was bucket number eight. No matter what I do, I end up needing eight buckets. So I usually do one cold, then I do five hot, and then I finish with two cold rinses. Ends up being eight buckets every night. And um, the first three are washes with about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of detergent. Okay, so then the last step, I rinse them out and I kind of hang them out as I rinse. And then I'll wring them out and I throw them in this bucket to go and hang them up to dry. So um, I probably won't video the whole thing, just a little bit of it. And so uh, the water will be on so I won't be able to talk. <laughs> to start rinsing off, or to start dripping dry, I guess I should say. Okay, so now they're all rinsed, and I just put them like that so they can start dripping dry while I, while I do this. I don't do it, I don't um, hang them super great on the edge of the bucket. I just hang them so that I can take them out and get them on the, uh, rack. This is my very least favorite part because you really have to get your muscles in there and with the long ones I start in the middle and just hold them and go 
to the ends like this and then on this side it's really not fun it makes my hands really dry so I have to use lots of hand cream and then I give them a good shake or two hang it and oh I'll show you a different one like this one do the same thing I just work to the edges they still take at least a day to dry no matter how hard I squeeze them my husband could probably squeeze them tighter maybe one of these days I'll get him in here working on it and then the pre full or the Gerber ones are a little easier because they're not as thick. So then I do this with all of them and then I go and hang them up and let them dry and that is it. I'll sh just show a picture at the very end once I have them all hung up to dry. So that is the complete wash routine. If you follow this exactly, you will have clean diapers. It's a huge amount of work but you will have clean diapers for very minimal cost especially if you don't have to pay for water okay so there's this part of the bucket I have all covered in bleach and it's sitting and I did rinse out the whole tub with bleach because clearly we just cleaned cloth diapers in it and here are all the cloth diapers on their way to go get hung up okay this is what them all hung up looks like on a drying rack so that's everything